Durham, this is the home of the Durham Miners Union and has been for 140 years. We work very, very closely with the Durham Miners and this seemed an absolute natural home to start our community uh, membership and our initiatives. We've had fantastic success in, in Barnsley with the Yorkshire Miners and our, our partnership is growing from strength to strength. That's why it's in Durham. It's the whole gamut about benefits, bedroom tax, the attack on our NHS, uh, housing, unemployment, youth unemployment is immense. Our industries have been absolutely decimated. You look at the cut, you know, we don't have any coal mines here, we don't have any shipyards here anymore. The biggest employer up here is Nissan. So all of those aspects are affecting our communities and our family lives and our members' lives. Our centres aren't just um, a centre for welfare advice, although we do help people with pra practically with that. The centres are actually a hub for campaigning. We want people to get involved in the union and start fighting back, as well as offering people practical skills such as computer lessons, new media and graphic design. But the, the real reason that we want people to come through the doors is to get them involved in campaigning and fighting back against the Tories so we can see the, get rid of them and see the back of them for good. Um, the North East, obviously, has got all the same problems as what we have in Barnsley. The last Tory government has absolutely decimated our industries. So in Barnsley, it's just the same as it is up in the North East. And we need to connect back with the people in, 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 our, in our communities. When you, when you were younger, 20, 30 years ago, you used to leave school, join the pit and join the union. Unfortunately, that's not an option for people anymore. People are left with no jobs at all or zero hours contracts. By joining Unite, we want to give people that feeling of collectivism and that sense of power, and we want to see people start fighting back. We want to reinstill that feeling of solidarity, justice, and respect, where all the people are offered at the moment is drink, drugs, or despair. It's a fantastic turnout today. It's uh, more than what we were expecting, and I think it's one of the most exciting times in my life today because we've got all communities which everyone knows about. The hardship, the destitution, the despair in them communities is almost unbelievable. 1984-85 will always be looked upon as a watershed in the trade union movement. We were unsuccessful in protecting our industry and our communities. And now our people are faced with incessant pressure every day of their lives in trying to survive a government which is actually getting away, in my opinion, with more than Thatcher's government got away with. We've got a situation where people who used to call themselves liberals are supporting a government that is attacking every section of our society. And I pay thanks and tribute to unite, because the Durham miners are not the power they once were in the country. And we couldn't have done this or supported this initiative without Unite's generosity and support. And I'll say one thing to the Unite and Karen's here, and we'll stand or fall by that. We'll support this initiative for every endeavour we've got and all the support we can muster to make sure that it achieves what it's been established to achieve. Because when I walk around our communities now and see the young people in particular and the lack of opportunity and hope in a society that is one of the richest in the, in the world, it's heartbreaking to see. We've come through a lot in our time but we've still got mountains to climb. And the mountains that we have to climb are the ones now that are protecting some of the greatest people in the world from abject poverty, despair. The movement hasn't really managed to reach so far the unemployed, those unable to work, the disabled, the sick. What we want to do is build all of them and educate them as well and educate them into how to build a campaigning movement, how to build a campaigning organisation, and how to campaign against the things that are being inflicted on them by this awful government. That's what we want to achieve with this centre, and that's where we want the support of all of your organisations in trying to do that. So on behalf of the volunteers, thank you for coming, thank you for listening.